he had a spirit of exploration in religion, in government, exploration of the land. He has an opportunity to establish his own colony. There's a message here, not just for our nation, it's for the nations. He wanted to establish a city where people of all faiths could come together and live under the divine law of love. Then started with religious liberty. It's true, it's not the same religious liberty that we have today, but for that time it was a revolution. William Penn and the Lene Lenape, they walked together as one. We called him Brother Onos. His name still comes through our communities and we know it. His interface with the first Indians are glowing moments in our memory. There should be any place where free exercise of religion and prayer, it should be in the state house, in the capital. This is the whole idea of religious liberty here as the founding principle in Pennsylvania, which is everywhere. And he said, let's see what love will do instead of weapons of war. We ask you to awaken the wells of Penn and awaken the legacy of government, of freedom, and of the love, love within them, God on religious freedom. It's for everybody, it's for everywhere, it's for all the time. The reason why we move forward is through the power to forgive. We see reconciliation, we see restoration. Penn followed the biblical precepts, do justice and love mercy. That was his basis for government. You know, William Penn said that God might make this a seed of a nation. And he really meant the seed of world peace. This is the way to be. And in that, he was way ahead of his time.